remember when I drew that square right around that sun shape? Oh, wow. Look how quickly it moved. Did you notice the sun moving that fast? But that's amazing. So maybe I'm going to start off with the purple. And I'm just going to kind of just get a little bit of purple through. Then I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to glue. And then I'm going to get some green. And get some green real watery. Okay, guys. Come along. Beautiful plant. What you see outside, out in nature. So what, what plain air painters try to get excited about is get excited about what they're looking at. You know, and they look around and they try to find beautiful places. Oh, I like that very much. So one thing I'm excited about is some of the plants that are here, shape, the leaf shapes, the colors that we're seeing uh, on the flowers. Oh, you are doing a great abstraction. How about I paint some of that corn? What does the corn look like? See, it looks like this. So it's got kind of a stalk, and then the leaves come off like that. See, there's one. Here's the stalk, and then the leaf comes off, and it goes like that. And then look, it keeps growing and growing. My plant is growing on my canvas right in front of my eyes. And then there's yellow at the top. It's a corn. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't like what you just painted and you want to. If you don't like what you just painted, you guys, this paint doesn't dry too fast. You can take a few to tell and just wipe it away. It's fine. Wipe it away. Look at her strawberries. That looks great. Here's a blue strawberry. Wow. And then let's put a green top on it, right? And they've always got like a green top. Now watch this. I'll take the back of my brush and I can scratch a little dots in it, see? So they can look like you're doing. So it looks like seeds, see? All those little, little uh, strawberry seeds. Check this out. If I take, if I take purple and I take yellow and I mix those together, I get, a, I get some green brown. So maybe I'm going to paint the, the trunk of a tree here so that my squirrel can have a home. So there's the tree goes that way, and then it kind of goes this way, and this will be the branch maybe where I'm going to put my squirrel. Okay, let's put some grass down here. Okay. That's okay. So I got a tree and I got some strawberries. I can hear the waterfall in there. So maybe I'm going to try to paint it. Let me get some blue here so I can get, make, make some water color. Hello, water. And uh, here's the pond. There's a little pond. And then the pond kind of goes up. And then there's a waterfall. Okay, so here's my waterfall. I'm going to put some white crashing at the bottom of the waterfall. Oh, my squirrel. I know. The tree was just an excuse for my squirrel. Okay, so what does squirrel look like? They've got a curly tail, and then they're they're always kind of curly, because they're always running around and they got little feet. So something like that might be a good a good squirrel. How's mine look? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now is there anything else that you can make up on your farm? What else does your farm need? Maybe, uh... Okay, okay. Yeah! Look, up, look, look how I'm painting. I'm just, I'm just going... And see how the rough shape makes it look like leaves? Because it's like not even. Oh my gosh, I need a sun. Hello. Okay, yellow, right there. How's that? Should the rays, like, <laughs> shoot out across the painting? The sun rays? I'm going to draw a smiley face. Look at that. You like that? Look. Put a smiley face on it. That always makes it better.